everyone, for my database of the week, I'll be covering Grove Art Online, which is offered to us on the Rutgers database as Oxford Art Online. It is a database of searchable online art resources. As you can imagine, it is probably most useful to art history students um, and the humanities background. Starting at the top, you can search by art historical field from African art to 20th century art, medium, era by date, region, place type, and occupation, which I found pretty unique to Grove Art Online and something that I found lacking in other databases such as Art Store that is really helpful and useful when you're trying to locate um, certain things. So let's run through some example searches here and start with Paul Gauguin. The advanced search is pretty much the base, basically uh, the regular search. Um, they give you this link option here, but it kind of takes you to the same page as any search that you do. The results are uh, default sorted by relevance, uh, but the drop down here you can see that you can change it to article title, author editor, and um, published online by date. The format type of the results are noted by these little indicators. Uh, whether they're article or image. The images are less desirable than databases such as ArtStore. Let's take a look at one of the images. The images are smaller, they're of less quality, there's definitely less metadata about them. However, a really useful feature here is the referenced end section that groups together associated assets that the user can further explore. Now let's take a look at one of the article results. Articles are separated by the article themselves or exclusively the images that are represented within that article. There are a variety of export and sharing options, uh, export a PDF, uh, the citation is always helpful in any database, um, in a variety of formats, um, copy-paste, exporting, email, and social media, as well as a conveniently placed DOI for external reference here. Another really valuable feature here is more on this topic and external resources. They take you to the bottom of the article um, with links to those resources and um, associated and similar topics. As I mentioned earlier, the advanced search is a little misleading. It pretty much is the same as any search that you enter into the search bar, but you can take advantage of the filters on your results on the left hand side here. To quickly take a look at what's available, there are um, Boolean, modifying your search with adding terms, uh, format type by article image, type, place type, life event, art historical field, medium, era, region or country, occupation, and publication date, and whether it's available with your institution or not. Now let's use uh, Boolean search modifiers and limiters to run in place of an advanced search. So Paul Gauguin conducted a lot of his art in France and later in Tahiti. So let's try and refocus and limit our results to his time period in only France. So let's use a Boolean not limiter and limit to France by excluding Tahiti. Here are results, and our intended result was to exclude anything within this Tahitian period by excluding the word Tahiti, but there are many images in the results here that were painted in his Tahitian time period, but because they don't have the word Tahiti in it, they are part of the results. So let's try and limit our formats to articles only, that way we have results that exclude the word Tahiti from them. Now these results are more in line with what we intended. These are all articles that mention Paul Gauguin or deal with him that do not have the mention of Tahiti in them. So you would assume that they deal with the time period um, early in his career. Now one drawback to Grove Art Online is that there are less contemporary resources. 
meaning the update of the database is less focused on state current and more focused on material and scope of historical reference. I came to this conclusion by searching for material on a popular contemporary artist and also a more historical dated art dealer. Let me give you a sense of how those searches went. Now, one of my favorite contemporary artists that's based out of where I live in LA is Mark Bradford. And he has enough notoriety and frame and accreditation to um, warrant enough uh, material to, I would think, um, be present in art, uh, Grove Art Online. However, when I do a search for him, there isn't a whole lot of actual material. Um, you would think uh, if it's sort of irrelevance, the, there'd be a lot of Mark Bradford reference, um, but these aren't um, the Mark Bradford that uh, we're talking about. If I do an exact term for Mark Bradford as well, I get less, just two, two results, which is a good indication that art history students or other students that are seeking to find more contemporary material might have to refer to another database. Now, the second individual that I mentioned that I used as a gauge for measuring the scope of Grove Art Online was Walter Hopps, who was a gallerist and art dealer um, in 1950s Los Angeles that I used as part of my project, too. And I mentioned earlier that I was really excited about this occupation filter that Grove Art Online uses, and I used it for Walter as a... Um, patron, collector, and dealer, and I was kind of disappointed that I only got a few results, uh, one to be exact, um, and once I deleted that occupation, I the results were substantially increased and they were really great results too, so I was just a bit disappointed that I couldn't utilize um, such a really exciting tool. But this is a pretty good indication that there are strengths in Grove and Oxford's relatively recent coverage, but perhaps not within the past few decades. Even if this database may not have a wealth of contemporary material, the featured periodical collections on the homepage, as well as update indications like this, are a testament to Grove and Oxford's efforts in refreshing material and engaging its patrons. So I hope this run through helped you in some way to gauge the user scope, the affordances and constraints of Grove Art Online, Oxford Art Online. Good luck if you use it for future use, either for yourself or for your future patrons.